Okay. Um, I will keep this. Would be great to have a Duris here, but can't wish for everything. Jace is maybe again on his five color BFF list, but I'm not sure. And he does not know what I am playing. Maybe he knows it directly because it's one of my pet decks. Yeah, that's a five color BFF again. We saw some days ago as I played uh, Angel Stompy. Ah, that's a good one. I need an edict he uh, effect here. Okay, drain life won't work. Um, hopefully, he plays something to my smother that I can use my mana better. He just goes for another land, keeping counter mana up. And then have the ability to mental note in the end step. This could uh, reason how we lose the game. Okay, the Scourge is fine, because we can play Smother on that right now. I think it's not time for Stupor now. I try the Arena here, hopefully to have a follow-up Duras plus Stupor, and then secure the Mutilate later. We got some answers to Meddling Mages, and Mutilate catches the, N the Nimble Mongoose later. Ah, Sylvan Library or Naturalize? Library, that's okay. I can't handle that. Please sideboard. But due to our cards in hand, this might work out. Another arena. Well, this could be too greedy, but on the other hand, let's play Duras here and I will see if I need to stupor or Mental note in response. Okay, Duris resolves. Call of the Hurt in the graveyard. Verdict. Wasteland is strong. Wasteland will hit my Kabal coffers. So there's an argument to Stupor, so we got the 50-50 chance that he needs to discard Wasteland. So let's think a second about this. He probably discards Undiscovered Paradise, and then if he discards Wasteland. Otherwise, when we play the Arena, we have plenty of time to find more answers. This will be 3-3 next turn. So I think it's better to uh, get down the second arena. To have the ability to mutilate next turn, because we draw three cards. And if he waits on the wasteland, which he shouldn't do, so it's a bit dangerous maybe with the two arenas, but we got eight spells to gain life. So I feel pretty confident. And the Kawal Coffers is not great yet. Could be great uh, later, but if we play Stupor and he keeps exactly Wasteland, uh, this will be tough. That's a great draw. Okay, Wasteland here. He drew two extra cards. We know about one more Scourge here. So we can close this. Hopefully he plays Scourge. Okay. 
He has a counter spell up, probably. So this is a bit tough to handle. But I think, yeah, this is hard. We need a land plus duress or fire eyes. Yeah, fire eyes. Well played to prevent mutilate, but yeah, here's one swamp. Innocent blood is strong. He has two more cards in hand, so we take six damage here. Go to six, go to four. Dangerous. So it might be better to. I'm a bit greedy here. I go for stupor and then I lose against. Yeah, I need to play innocent blood first. Otherwise, yeah, the fire eyes was great. Otherwise, we could have made double spell or mutilate. I wouldn't play mutilate because he probably has a counter spell. Yeah, second arena might have been too greedy, but we will see. We get plenty of edict effects, and maybe he plays a Call of the Herd, and then we can make a board wipe, leaving us with nine, seven. He took one extra again which is a bit scary. Okay, take here, but three is... I can handle three. Another Mox Diamond. Okay, probably Armageddon would be game-breaking. Flashback Call of the Herd. Skittering Scourge. Okay, he probably has a the edict is very nice. So I think everything worked out here. I do a Duris now to get his counter spell. Okay, City of Brass. Um, then we play Mutilate. And then we need to start corrupting and playing Drain Life to not lose against Lightning Bolts and Ice Effects. So if he, if we draw a swamp, I try corrupt face, and we win like this because he took too many damage from Sylvan Library and City of Brass. Could just buy one of these cards. So either he has a creature or he has a counter spell. Okay, this is the call of the herd flashback. And if we draw a Swamp now, or Carver Coffers, which should be really easy, we win. This is a Swamp. Another Drain Life. Um, I hope he does not play Divert on in the main deck. So we go face here. We could lose against... Yeah, okay. <laughs> this was great. Pretty intense. Okay. A Slay could be decent, not great. Um, dystopia. Plana Void, I'm not sure, it's just against his. Uh, Mongoose, which is just one of many threats. Zawus Web is pretty bad. Mm. Infest seems great. Skeleton Scrying is not great. Because he can just counter it and then we, we do not pay life at that point, but I'm not sure about the slay. This might clock our hand. So maybe... Yeah, maybe one engineered plague. 
try it like this. Yeah, what about the matchup? It does, I think it's pretty even. It's great to have another answer for meddling mages with the infest. So we are pretty well suited. Armageddon is a problem after sideboarding, because I think he has like two or three then. Not sure about Planar Void. I think we can't do this. Just imagine if we are in the top deck mode later and this will come. That's not great. It's the earliest card at turn four. We need to take a mulligan here. That's great. Um, Stupor has to go. Turn one, Gerard's verdict would be brutal. Okay. Him not having the verdict turn one um, is an invitation for me to play Duras to prevent at least one Gerard's verdict. Armageddon, Call of the Herd, Sylvan Library. So we do have the answer for the library if we draw another land. Armageddon is close to unbeatable. Let's take the Armageddon here. Don't want to lose, just I draw not another discard spell. Cause, and you see like turn one, uh, game one, he took so many damage from his library. So seven library plus, okay, he still has, the, he might go for meddling mage, but I don't think so, yeah, seven library. Ah, Swamp is great. Just imagine if he goes for Meddling Mage next turn or Call of the Herd and we have Dystopia as a follow-up. Rex Inferno is really strong because we can exile flashback cards and keep his um, graveyard count below 7. Um, yeah, if he goes for Call of the Herd I will slam this Topia. Hope he does not have an answer after he sacrificed the elephant. But I think he might go for Meddling Mage plus Nimble Mongoose. Maybe naming a Dystopia with the... I don't think he names Dystopia. Call of the Herd, yeah, that's worked out pretty well for us. He still might have a, a removal uh, from top deck with a dystopia, but so gets a swamp down, exile call of the herd, preventing one elephant, and go with dystopia. I think he sacrificed the elephant now. Hope to find a naturalize for dystopia. He can keep it around for longer, the library, with the mongoose stack and the meddling mage. But at some point, if he does not have an uh, answer for that, Verdict. Okay, what do I want to discard? I think it's Swamp Drain Life. Hope he plays the Mongoose or the Meddling Mage to secure the library. But I don't think he needs to play anything. Okay, Mongoose. Everything worked out pretty well. I want to pay for this dystopia. 
Okay, can you... Okay, this is just a sacrifice effect, so this is... Uh, pay one life, yes. I can't sacrifice anything here. Smother is nice. Exile card here. So now we get the seven library. And I feel great with the smother in hand, which he shouldn't play. Stupor from top would be great. So I think I will pop this in the end step to get some business. Maybe it's wrong. We could just keep the dystopia around for a bit longer. But I really need to land on some point. Yeah, we can keep this for one or more turns, but I'm still thinking about sacrificing the furnace to get some business. Yeah, let's do it. Edict is fine. Okay, I want to pay two for that. Infest is nice. So we have a variety of threats here, but we need something to get card advantage. Otherwise, we just might lose against some Gerard's Verdicts as a follow-up creature. If he slams Meddling Mage, this is a call for me that he has an answer for the Dystopia. But if not, this will get eaten. And if he has an answer for that, we have three different answers for the Meddling Mage. So one, the Mongoose is gone. We don't know any card in his hand, I guess. Nether Spirit. Okay. No action here. Pay three. Okay, mutilate. Not where I want to be. So maybe he just thought that he needs to sacrifice green permanence, but it's green or white. So this will hit a variety of threats, even like Exalted Angel in the format. But next turn I will sacrifice this. I don't want to go to 10. And we have so much removal in hand. Okay, land would be great. I'm opening up to a wasteland, which I don't want at this point, so I want to keep this around a bit longer. Okay, he probably has some counter spells and fire and ice. Drain life. Mm. Ship the turn back. 
this could drain for two later, which is not horrible. Mongoose. It's 1-1. One, one. Not sure if I need the edict right now, but I try to edict here. In the combat and hopefully he counters that. Or makes a follow-up. Yeah, counter is sweet. Okay, we will open up to a potential mental note now, but I think we need to do this. Got a quick lag here. Can't drop a land. Okay, let's try infest. Could be bad. Just worked out. So Armageddon or okay, if he plays Armageddon, he has nothing in play. And we still got some threats covered. Combination of Duris and Frex in Arena would be great. Okay, that's scary. Could easily have a mongoose plus Armageddon. Meddling mage, yeah, we got that covered. Hopefully he drops another threat. Probably naming mutilate. Nether spirit. Another swamp. I think I want to drain life here. Would be for four. Maybe not. No. I will pass the turn back. Keeping this mother up. So he needs to use the mana in his turn. Okay, I want to get rid of that now. Just to remove his clock and the ability to counter and Armageddon in a spot. I don't want to drop the swamp for now, because I'm a bit scared of Armageddon. This could drain for six. Maybe draining for six here. Would have been a play, but I really want to draw Stupor plus Bricks and Arena. Smother. Pass a turn back. I mean, we still have some great draws, but so. Um, it's the same for him. Dystopia, not for now, but could be great later, or if he plays a card like um, Mongoose again, or Sylvan Library. I really want to slam this. Ah, oh, this artwork is so great here. Yeah. Wasteland is strong. I could have um, flooded some mana before. Duras, okay. I do not have the follow up now, but I'm so scared of Armageddon that I shoot this now. Hellbreach, Lightning Bolt. Bolt is not scary on his own. He flooded out pretty badly, but he keeps this for potential. 
Armageddons. But here I think I need to get the swamp down, pet the turn. We lose against the Armageddon, probably, but I need to get some lands down. Give me arena, please. Do I play this? I don't think so. No. Yeah, it's really waiting for the Armageddon. But he needs Armageddon plus red. And then a combination where we can't interact. Okay, this is Armageddon. We talked about... I don't know why I couldn't float mana here, but shouldn't make a huge difference because he could just have changed phases then. So we need more land to get back in the game. Yes, yeah, it was a great top deck. But sooner or later it will come. So maybe I drop one land too much. But we still have a variety of threads covered. Arena is okay. It's cool to not be vulnerable against wastelands if we do not draw our second carbon coffers, which would be bad anyway now. So if he has a Gerard's verdict, we will probably discard something like mutilate plus interest. Um, City of Brass. Okay. We know four cards in his hand. Okay, I slam the arena. Would be fine with it getting countered, but the impact is so high if this stays around for a bit. He might have an answer for that, or things, okay, we are in boating range, but soon we will start to drain life. But we need to take a, keep an eye on that. Having an edict effect would be great. Windig on a swamp. What? This is... I'm wondering about that. Surprising. Okay, second arena should be too aggressive for now. But if he handles this, I will slam the second one. Okay. At some point I need to start drain life for two. Okay, he absolutely takes a burn route now. So I'm happy I did not slam the arena. He has Tron Cray in hand, Gemstone Mine. Duras, yeah. He will take the drain life, I guess. I don't know, should I slam the arena? I think it's too greedy at that point. Yeah, that's too greedy. Don't want to do this. It's great that Mutilave is live now. Carbon coffers plus some kind of Um, drain life or corrupt would be nice. Okay, he might have double bolt now, but I need to look here for counter spell. Okay, another bolt, counter spell. I think I want to. Drain life for two now to not lose against fire eyes plus bolt or two bolts to fire eyes, and I can spend my mana better like this. Okay, 
Okay, Gimstone Mine is in play. He has another counter spell, so just Tron Quarry left plus a wild card, which might be a burn spell. I think we got every threat covered with Mutilate and Infest and Smobber. Another Mutilate, okay, that's not great. But sooner or later we will draw Corrupt. Call of the Herd is... So if he has no Counterspell, I think... I don't know, he needs to cast this. Yeah, he goes for the call, probably. Okay, we play Smother for that, I think. Or we could play Dystopia. Smother is a bit more mana efficient. So he still has Counterspell up. Stupor would be... I, I don't know, did I board it out the Stupor? I don't think so. Corrupt. How? Ah, okay, he played one from his hand. So chances are there that he has another counter spell, but we need to take the risk here. Okay, this was great. If he has some more elephants on the board, Dystopia will shine. And the next Corrupt or even Drain Life is lethal. Yeah, I'm pretty uh, satisfied with this version I built. Okay, this is covered by uh, Dystopia. But he could ship some damage in with the elephants then, and the library is not great at that point. So I think I need to mutilate to not lose against the burn combination. Stupor, okay, a bit late to the party. I can do both, which is nice. So next turn he can't play the I call of the herd, otherwise he needs to sacrifice it. Grain life was impressive this far. Because even for four mana you get a two toughness creature and two life which is enough sometimes to stabilize a game. Okay, if he just skips a turn here, I don't want to keep the dystopia around. White mana four, meddling mage. Yeah, meddling mage, but on infest. So I think now I could keep the dystopia around. Might be too greedy. So if he has a bolt, we go to one. So double bolt, we go to four, to three. Hmm. I will pay this once.
Okay, first I draw a card and see what I get here. Swamp. Yeah, I pay once. Otherwise we could, okay, Innocent Blood is fine. I really want to play Stupor here. Got an undiscovered paradise. Okay, him having double bold and us not drawing a life gain spell could lose us a game. But yeah, this might happen. I think he should play the flashback now from the elephant. Another meddling mage on infest again. We got that covered with the Innocent Blood. And I'm pretty happy about this top deck because I can handle this much better than Lightning Bolt or Fire and Ice. He can't double spell here. Yeah, sooner or later we will draw another Drain spell. Um, put that. So what we draw here, a swamp, don't want to pay for that. Okay, another stupor means we are a bit safe. Ah, okay, we could have infested there because he named corrupt. Haven't to take a look at that. And double bolt still scary. We got, yeah, if we draw Corrupt, we played Stupor before, Sylvan Library, that's a bit scary. Because he can find his burn spells. Innocent Blood. Hmm. <laughs> plays this. So even if he finds double Bolt now, or Bolt and Fire and Ice, we lose. Because he can just pay for life for once. Yeah, <laughs> I think we might lose. Duras, okay. Probably on Mutilate or Innocent Blood, I don't know. What did he draw? Okay, Mongoose, we got that covered. So that's not super scary. Okay. Corrupt for the win. Great games. Thanks for watching. And see you soon.